If you're tired of dating avoidant partners, take a walk with me. The person that's going to be affected by this is going to probably identify as an anxious attachment. And right now, you're mad and filled with resentment because the avoidant in your life didn't live up to your expectations. When you first started dating this person, it seemed easy and amazing. So easy that they have to be your twin flame or soulmate. Sadly, that was just the first one to three months of dating because there were no real expectations during that time frame. You may have only seen each other once a week or once every other week. Someone with an anxious attachment style is definitely going to want more time together. And if they can't get that time together, they'll more than likely be willing to just text 24-7. And at first, the avoidant will meet that expectation because it's new, fun, exciting, and again, there's no real expectations. At some point, there's going to be a long weekend together or a mini vacation. And that time together is going to be one of the best times that you've ever had. The anxious attacher is going to feel really connected because that totally filled their cup up. The avoidant, however, may feel emotionally depleted or overwhelmed. And this is where they'll do a slow fade or completely pull away for a while. But this is also the turning point for the anxious attacher. You're going to feel like you're in full activation mode. Autobots, transform! And this is where the anxious attacher will double down on the relationship and try to figure out what's going on with the avoidant and what are they thinking. And if you're not careful, you may also start to lose yourself in that relationship. You may even start to pour more into the avoidant, thinking that that's what will pull them back. More often than not, though, that seems to push the avoidant away. You see, they're already overwhelmed, and when you give them more of what they've already been overwhelmed with, they're just going to walk away. So what's the solution? What can you do about it? In this moment, as the anxious attacher, you need to pull your energy back away from the avoidant and make yourself a priority again. Get outside in nature and go for a walk and shut your notifications off on your phone. Take the time to journal on the thoughts, feelings, and emotions that are coming up for you right now. And ask yourself, where have I experienced this before? Is this a pattern in my life? And right now you're probably thinking, but what about the avoidant? I'll tackle that in another video, but as the anxious attacher, this is more about you reclaiming your thoughts, feelings, and emotions and your personal power. It's knowing and understanding your goals, values, standards, and boundaries for a relationship with you, and then sticking to them. As you do this type of work, you're to start to notice a shift in the way you interact with other people, and you'll begin to see that you're the one with all the power to shift this dynamic for yourself. You'll begin to see that someone's reaction to you is more about them than it is you. And that people aren't thinking about you as much as you think about them.